Hello everyone. Today I will be discussing about Mac design using Verilog. Mac means multiply and accumulate. In this, the compounds which we will be using are multiplier and pipo. Pipo is nothing but parallel in parallel. While looking onto the internal variables of multiplier are A and B are the inputs which are of 3 bit size. Okay. M will be the output which will be the 6 bits of size. While looking onto the pipo input variables which is parallel in parallel. Okay. The input variables of pipo are K which is of size 6 bit and clock and reset which are of 1 bit size and W is the output variable which is of 6 bit size. While looking onto the top module design which is Mac design the input variables are x and y which are of 3 bit size okay and clock 1 and reset 1 are the input variables which are of 1 bit size okay and z is the output variable of the top module design which is of 6 bit variables while this is the uh, multiplier module here the module starts with the keyword module okay this is the multiplies is the module name which I have given and M is the output variable okay and B are the inter, uh, input variables okay the input has been declared like this okay A and B 3 bit variables okay 2 down to 0 indicates 3 bits okay and uh, output okay m which is 5 down to 0 represents 6 bits okay and the multiplication will be done like this okay assign m equal to a and b and for module to be ended and module is the keyword okay while looking on to the pipo design okay parallel parallel module is the keyword which will be here and pipo is the name of the block okay w is the output variable and k is the input variable and clock and reset also inputs okay here i have designed uh, declared the inputs which are k uh, clock and reset okay and here you can see the output w is declared as reds okay because the output uh, w is uh, declared as reds because uh, the variables which are being used inside always block should be declared as reds okay here this always block works on the passage clock okay the here always block always at the rate passage clock okay begin if reset equal to 1 the output will be assigned 0 else if reset is low the output is the k here k is the input variable of the pipo and w is the output variable okay while looking on to the top level module this is the top level module okay mac design where for the mac design i have represented with the orange color line top level module where z will be the output and x and y clock one reset one are the input variables okay x and y are the inputs of three bit size okay clock one and reset one are one bit variables and z is the 6 bit variables output okay and you can see at the block diagram the there will be internal wire between the multiplier block and the pipo block that is declared as s here 5 down to 0 okay here the above blocks multiplier and pipo has been instantiated okay
multiplies and pipo here you can see those has been instantiated here instance 1 and instance 2 okay multiplies okay is the module name and instance 1 is the name of the instance and s is the output variable s is the output variable and x and y are the inputs okay and for pipo 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 is the module name and instance 2 is the name of the uh, instance and z is the output variable s is the input variable and clock 1 and reset 1 are also input variables okay now we will be looking on to the test bench to design our mac design okay here module is the keyword and mac design test bench we have uh, given the name okay the mac design i am writing for the top level module where the x and y are the input variables which will be declared as a reg and clock one and reset one are the inputs which are one bit size okay wire is the output here okay here mac design has been instantiated with the mac design name module name and dut is the instance instance name z is the output variable x y clock one reset one are the input variables okay here the always block is used to generate the clock okay initial is the block where it will be runs only once okay here reset one means if reset is high the output will be w equal to zero which we have been written okay after 20 nanoseconds the reset will be the high where the input variables will be taken and the multiplication will be done and they will be executed the mac design okay after 100 nanoseconds okay dollar finish will be encounter and the execution will be stopped okay here in another another initial block have written dollar monitor in this clock the uh, percentage b is given where the clock will be displayed and x and y are the input variables they, they also will be display uh, displayed and z is the output variable okay they have been declared now we will see the simulation Here you can see I have given x equal to 3 and x equal to 3 and y equal to 3. The output will be 9. Here you can see here. Okay. That okay. While uh, clock uh, while reset is high, the output is 0. Here you can see. Okay. While the clock uh, reset is high the output is zero okay when reset is low at the passage the inputs has been applied which is x equal to 3 and y equal to 3 and z equal to 9 has been displayed uh, you can see in the waveforms here z equal to 3 Thank you.